Hey man, how's it going? Great, did you see that new Smash Brothers trailer? Oh, not yet, but don't tell me anything. I don't want any spoilers. Yeah, but Solid Snake. There it is. It is in Arlo shirt. Kinda looks like the moon from Majora's mask. I'm gonna wear it all day. Right on my torso a bunch. And if you think that it's a bad decision, you are objectively wrong. And I'm gonna... Okay, I'm done with this. Hey there, guys. I hope you had a Merry Christmas and a Happy Switch Year. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, uh, New Year. Uh, I had a fantastic holiday. I hung out with some friends and family, ate a lot of good Switch, got some movies and some socks and some Switch and some, uh, some, uh, Switch. No, oh, don't! Oh. You poor, poor fools. <laughs> I, uh, I don't think they're doing a midnight lunch at this location. Nope. We could go hang out at GameStop and just pretend like we got pre-orders. Nah. Want to get a burger? <laughs> yeah. And to sum it up, you put your tablet in the thing and that makes three things pop up. When you beat those things, four more things pop up and each of those things makes three more things pop up and you have to beat all the things that pop up. I mean, I guess the Switch kind of has that, because you can yeah. portable as eyes it. He even sees that he thinks it's funny, too. Yeah. <laughs> Merchoid recently announced that it would be selling an official Resident Evil candle to commemorate the release of Resident Evil 7. Early reports suggest that the candle will smell like garbage, bovine leavings, basically a disgusting hodgepodge of awful things. Its smell isn't meant to enhance the Resident Evil 7 experience, however, but instead acts as a smell-based review of Resident Evil 6. Oh, it's my turn. Hello, I'm Arlo, and I am a spoiler-phobe. What's that? You don't know what a spoiler-phobe is? Well, really? You can't, you can't figure it out on your own? Like, spoiler-phobe? You don't, like, ugh, whatever. And Mario needs to stay fresh to stay alive. That's why he uses Old Spice. Hey there guys, this is the big day. I finally have my Switch, so I am going to unbox it and uh, uh, oh, sorry, just one second. Oh boy, I'm okay, I'm okay. I am going to rip it open and we're gonna take a look at all the little stuff that's inside there and uh, and uh, oh, <sighs> okay. Heart rate is fine, everything is fine. I'm just gonna open it up and uh, take a quick look inside and then we'll be done. Yeah, it'll be good, okay. So, let's get started! Whoa, whoa. What the? Where am I? Whoa. Arlo, I am death. You're death? Yes, I'm death. What? Are you gonna do a magic trick? <laughs> it's gonna get it towards the handkerchief. Really? He's doing it. Oh my oh, gosh, he's just... actually doing it. <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> or, it's just, or it's just very predictable. 
It's just, to be the buzzkill. Well, it's funny because he was what he was wearing before made me think of it, but not this. <laughs> I'm Arlo, and you've been watching the Gamers Brief. Good night and good game. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's something I need to do. I have a confession to make. You know how I, like, use bits of Zelda Breath of the Wild in a lot of my videos when I'm talking about the Switch and all that stuff. I don't watch that footage. I don't, like, I will, like, grab something and then just kind of, like, watch it, like, with one eye out of the corner of my eye just to look at it and see that it kind of, like, fits something and just make sure it lines up with my video or whatever. But, like, I only just barely watch it enough to put it in my video. I don't even look at it closely. I hope I've been using all footage from Zelda. Here's some footage right here. I, th this is Zelda footage, right? I sure hope it is. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not really looking, so I, I hope that what you are seeing is Zelda, but I'm, I'm not really sure, probably, right? I have one word to sum up how I feel right now, and it's scribble global. Shmah. Hello, my name is Arlo. Barry recently announced that he would be leaving Game Grumps, leading me to believe that there is now an opening in the Grump clan. Therefore, this is my official audition to become a Grump. A little background, I spent four years in Lyon in the mid-2000s studying YouTube history under legendary vlogger Francois Chevotet4982. I, uh, I then went on to Berkeley where I received my masters in content creation and I wrote my thesis on yelling what and zooming in the camera really fast. And what is it I'm giving away? Well, none other than this! Oh, jeez. None other than this! Oh, f But, wait. I can't be dead. There's still so much to do. So, so much to do. Them's the breaks. Oh, man. Uh, what if I cut you a deal, huh? Say, ten bucks to return me to my body? An immortal spirit cannot be bribed with earthly treasures. I am not a peddler selling souls as though they were not but trinkets. How about twenty? No! Eh, I was bluffing anyway. I've only got two bucks in my bank account. If you were lying, why didn't you just say a million dollars or something? Oh, hey, there's Zelda bathing. Ooh. I mean, I didn't say ooh. <laughs> family, <laughs> family channel. Oops. <laughs> so, the big question today is, how are you go- Oh man, this stupid mailman always ruining my takes. Well, let me know how you felt about the announcement down in the comments, and until next time, shmoo flagar bloop. bloop Skyrim is a game where you push goats off of cliffs by yelling at them. I feel that I would make a good grump because I, I make lots of funnies. Uh, lots, of, lots of jokey funnies and silly things on the screen. Uh, uh, there, there's one right up there right now. See it there? Very silly. Uh, I'm also really excellent at coming up with little bits that will become recurring inside jokes. I, I mean, it's, uh, it's second nature to me. Uh, okay, watch. Butternut squash? Yes, please! 
Look, us Paper Mario fans, we're sticking by for a reason. I mean, this game, this game spoke to us. It had great characters, themes, the levels, they were just incredible. I don't think I'm being a sulking Nintendo baby. None of the Paper Mario fans are. We're mature, sophisticated connoisseurs of good games. Yeah, we're mature, sophisticated adults. They just want a true Paper Mario sequel! Sticker Star and Color Splash were shallow mockeries of what made the series so good! The combat, the partners, I don't want to talk to- I don't know how he got here. He lives in California. Like, how, I didn't even see- there's only one way into this room. I just can't believe this. Dead. Today of all days. I was this close to playing the Switch. Wait, did you say Switch? Yeah, why? You got one? Pre-order sold out instantly. Yeah, man. Got it online from Best Buy. Very well, mortal. I will send you back on one condition. Woohoo! <sighs> Is it my turn yet? No. Ah, uh, can't we at least play a two-player game or something? No. Ah, oh, jeez, this is the worst. Should've just stayed dead. <laughs> it's great. I don't know why that just took me by surprise. Guy, <laughs> kind of leather jacket holding the big poofy thing. Scavenger Studio showed off their upcoming game, The Darwin Project, at Microsoft's conference, though the showing did not go according to plan. After a quiet, moody cinematic where combatants hunt each other in the snowy night, we were treated to a gameplay demo. And just as it started, a bearded man in a bright yellow shirt rushed the stage and began ranting incoherently. That red outline is a mortal unicorn and he's letting in about 100 meters away now, getting ever closer, join that beeline, and now he's gonna cloak it up. Is he gonna walk in through the front door or what? Bouncing it up forward, there we go. Oh, that was gonna do the damage and the arrow to the belly. E3 officials were able to remove him once the demo was over, but he managed to escape before he could be identified. You see, I'm an intergalactic bounty hunter, a lone wolf. I'm always in a new place, risking my life in the name of peace. But sometimes I wish I could stay on the same planet with the same person. Well, Samus, please call me Sammy. All right, Sammy. You don't need to save the galaxy from the scourge of the space pirates for me to love you. Oh, Arlo. Sammy. Ahem. Ahem. Hey there. Thanks for watching, everyone. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to go delete Skyrim from my Switch once and for all. Right after I hit the alchemy table one last time. And, uh, see what I can get for some enchanted gear I just found. And, um... Anyway, I brought along a game. I thought I would give you a real taste of my grumpy abilities. So let's get playing that game now. That's like my catchphrase. Uh, ask my fans. I, I say it every time I'm going to play a game. I sell shirts with that on it. Let's get playing that game now. So I'm playing this game. Uh, th this is one of the more popular games uh, that the kids are playing these days. I, I know all the I know all the popular games. I, I know all the games, really. And so, um, as you can see, I'm very good at doing little bits and offering um, funny observations about the games that I'm playing. Uh, for instance, uh, look, at look at this guy right here. You know what? You know what I think this guy thinks? I think this guy would rather be at home with his family. You, you know what I'm saying? I, I think this guy, I think this guy is, uh, is working, and he's like, oh, man, I wish I wasn't working right now. Am I right? Standing there. It's pretty funny. If this whole three-phase theory is true, it really won't be long before they do. Knocking on wood. Knock, knock, knock! That was the very real sound of me knocking on wood. I, I got a, a, a big old slab of black walnut I, I keep right next to me for occasions like this. So next up was Xbox, and I really can't stress enough how bad the name Xbox One X is. I really can't. Um, funny story, I was watching with my buddy Brian, and we were joking about what the name might be, because we knew it would be bad. Because it's always bad. He legit said, Xbox One X as a joke. And we laughed, because that would be too funny. Because that was too terrible of a name. And yeah, when they revealed it, we lost it. It was amazing. <laughs> Look at this switch that I just found. When I say go, get ready to tear it open like a freak. Min Min is one spicy noodle wielding fighter. One spicy noodle wielding when fighter. She dodges in the air, she that is a sentence I've only heard a handful of times 
in my life. Wait, you didn't think <laughs> Three or four max. Arms, did you? At EA's press conference, the company showed off the latest installment in the Need for Speed franchise. In a gameplay demo, we watched the game's main protagonists chase down and board a semi-truck holding a valuable prize. Based on their performance, we can easily assume that this prize is much more valuable, obviously, than human lives. Need for Speed Murder Innocent Motorists launches this fall. Well, I get the feeling the comment section is going to be a bit of a battlefield, kind of like the rest of the internet, so uh, let's, uh, let's try to keep it civil. I know this is a very hot-button topic. Um... Ah, who am I kidding? Pro DLC versus anti DLC. Let's get ready to rumble! Fight, fight, fight! Ah, chicken just fell in the water and respawned! Whoa, what? Did you. Can we get a replay on that? Whoa, fell in the water and respawned. Only moments, rare moments, rare funny moments like that with me. Also, speaking of chickens, whoa, oh, look at this chicken here. Huh? Yeah, uh, this chicken is just like, oh, put me down. Uh, okay, that's a really terrible example. Well, I hope you enjoyed this discussion, but if you'll excuse me, I've got to go send my Meverse account off with one final heartfelt epic art piece. So will this lizard put a warm feeling in my gizzard, or will this bat drive me batty? I don't actually have a gizzard. Uh, I don't think. But let's find out. Uh, I mean, not, not, not find out if I have, I mean, find out if, uh, oh, just kill the footage. Wait, 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 before we go, I've got a killer of a joke. Okay, you ready for this? You know what 3DS game should have gotten a sequel? Federation Force, ha, ha. How about Sticker Star, ha? Huh? Or maybe, hey, Pikmin, whoa! Uh, it, it's a joke, uh, you know, uh, sarcasm. You know, because I, I made that, that whole video about how I, how I didn't think it, uh, I don't know, it was a whole thing, don't worry about it. Not getting my hopes up. I'm seeing stars in space, but uh, better not be. What? What? No! Ah! What? Put the camera! I don't want to alarm you, but they just did a teaser for Metroid Prime 3! Ah! Dubstep Panda. More on this as it develops. Well, that's it for this episode of In Defense Of. Tune in next time when we talk about Metroid Other M. <laughs> Not! A specialty of mine, though, is ragey freakouts. Uh, I, I actually minored in freakouts at Berkeley. Okay, um, so you see this, this little group of guys right here? Um, th this, is, uh, this, this is one of the hardest challenges in the game, is these two guys right here. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go beat them. Oh, man, this guy's tough. I'm really having to hit him a lot. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, he killed me! Oh, that's okay, though. That's it, you gotta give it a bit. You gotta, you gotta, we gotta work up to it. Oh, not this time. Not this time. I'm gonna complete- Ah! Oh, what? That was literally 100% unfair! That made no sense at all! Oh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna try this one more time. One more time! That's all. I'm gonna beat it! And until next time, always remember... Oh! Huh? Oh! Huh? Yeah! Oh! Huh? Oh! Huh? Yeah! Oh! Huh? Oh! Huh? yeah! You- you- you take that to heart. Been here by all. This is my empire. This is the empire. <laughs>
the fire that I've built. Behold! <laughs> All the people. I'm getting sweaty. A sweaty empire. Christmas is my very favorite holiday, and that is, of course, because of the food. No, I mean, I mean the uh, the peace and goodwill to men, the 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 giving, giving and all that, family and giving. No, but seriously though, it's the food, uh, like without a doubt. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Arlo here, and today we're reviewing. Hey, where's my graphic? And the rest of the uh, world. Huh. Oh, no. So, did you see that part? I don't know if you were watching. I don't know if you saw that one part. It was quick, so you might have missed it. Where they said Metroid Prime 4. <sighs> oh, the treehouse. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to wrap this up. I don't want to go on and on. I got lots of videos to make right now, and I'll do a whole all my impressions of all the different stuff and whatever it doesn't matter i have to go take a shower or something i don't I'd go lay down somewhere eat some petrol All right, here we go. Oh, oh, I got this. I'm so worked up. I'm so mad and worked up right now. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. You can't. Oh, I'm, gonna, oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh, I'm gonna get you. You, I'm so mad right now. Wow. Poopoo. Poopoo stinky. Oh, all this paper right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip it out. Paper. Stacks and stacks of paper. Right here in front of me. Ah, what is this? A bunch of priceless vases? Now I'm gonna break them. Hey yeah, hey yeah, hey yeah, hey yeah, hey yeah. Oh, poo poo. Stinky poo poo buggers. Ah, I'm running all around the house now. I'm running away. I'm running over here. Next time on Game Grumps. In a shocking turn of events, actress and comedian Aisha Tyler has gone missing. Audience members and online viewers alike were shocked when the entirety of Ubisoft's conference passed without Tyler taking the stage, and fans can only assume that the company was unable to locate her before the show. If you have any information regarding her whereabouts, please contact the event coordinator for Ubisoft's 2018 conference, and uh, probably your family too. And Aisha, if you're watching this, please come home. Every second you're gone is one second Mr. Caffeine might try to make his comeback. But if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go and not play Zelda. Do you know why? Do you, want, do you know why I'm not going to play Zelda? Because I've been playing Zelda for like 120 hours now, and I see Koroks everywhere. Like, I, I, I'm not joking about this. I will look on the ground, and I'll see a penny on the floor, and I'll be like, I bet that's a Korok. Just for like one split second, I'll be like... I bet that's a Korok, or I'll be like, eating my cereal, and I'll be like, those three peanut butter puffins are in a row. If I take that other peanut butter puffin and put it there, I, I bet that's a Korok. I, I bet I'll get a Korok. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I need help. Yo, know, someone's in a place. Someone's definitely in a place. Uh, second place. One of them. They're coming around the track. What else do you say when you're a race commentator? <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> Hey there guys, I just got back from the hospital where the doctors were able to successfully move my heart from my throat back down into my chest and unstick my eyelids from the tops of their sockets so I can blink again. Uh, you know, if I want to. I fully and truly believe that this is a new dawn for Nintendo. 
I'm sure my editor is giving me some sort of epic background right now, maybe a glorious sunrise. Probably some swelling, inspiring music. Yeah, I bet it looks awesome. Oh man, it was the hype again, wasn't it? I can't even believe that. Dying of hype twice in one year. Tell me about it. I need to send Nintendo a thank you card or a gift basket or something. <sighs> well, this review is really, really important. Uh, can I at least use that PC and recording equipment you got sitting out over there so we can get all this sorted out? I did not mean to leave that out. <laughs> yeah, nice kitty stickers. You starting your own YouTube channel or something? Silence! Yes. So as you can see, I would make a really excellent game grump. And uh, before I go, I I've, I've animated a little, a little mock-up animation that you would be able to use if I were selected to be the next grump. And uh, here it is. Thank you. Hey, I'm grump. I'm not so grump. Also, it's Arlo. But at the end of the day, we know we can say one thing for sure. Metroid Prime 4! Ah! So take all that as absolute fact, ladies and gentlemen, because I forgot to mention until now, my dad works at Nintendo. And, and he tells me all this stuff, so it's definitely true. Also, my dad is Reggie fils and he let me play the new Zelda on, on the Ultra Switch, which is the next Nintendo system. Also, I have a gold Charizard, but I can't show you because my dad, who is Reggie fils took away my Game Boy. And I got the Triforce and Ocarina of Time, but then my little brother deleted my save file. I told you I don't want your coupon book! Happy Planetary Modular Rotation Day! Also, hey Arlo, someone's cutting down your tree in your front yard. That's eh, alright, I hate trees. Uh, but you came back to California for after Christmas. Uh, come, come in, come in! Oh, Loxton, I'm so glad you're back! What's it like in Oregon? Oh, it's crazy! Every single Saturday, everyone dresses up as Waldo, but in flannel. And there's no sandwiches. Everything is kale wraps with weird sauce. I don't even think the people there have heard of a sandwich. Wow, what a strange and fantastical land Oregon must be. <laughs> Lastly, the Gamer's Brief has gathered data from a broad range of viewers sampling from every available demographic in order to determine what was the best thing to come out of E3 2017. Poll results have been received and analyzed, and the Gamer's Brief has determined E3's greatest moment which it has chosen to ignore, because this one is way better. Woo, thanks for that, man. I really appreciate it. I did not believe it to be possible, but that review was so long, I very nearly died. Okay, so I know you're not really into bartering and all that, but there's just gotta be something I can do for you to return me to my body again. There is, mortal. Wow. Really? <laughs> I'm kind of surprised it was that easy again. I, I thought you'd prefer to harvest my soul or whatever. You'll be back again when Pikmin or Metroid Prime 4 comes out. Eh, yeah, good point. So what is it? What have I got to do? I believe you know what it is. Oh, and I don't suppose you want to be cappy, do ya? Nope. Alright, fine, but you're making popcorn or something first. Dying makes me hungry. Many have tried, but all have failed. Okay, here we go, everyone. Remember, Absolute silence is now required. Absolute silence. Absolute silence is now required. Oh shit. Teddy! Teddy, are you, are you okay? Teddy, no! He's dead! Will Turdy survive his fatal snowboard accident? Will Goomba fulfill his dream of being a penguin secret agent with a pet purple fuzzy thing next to him? And will you return to watch part two without complaining that the video is split into two parts? Find out in the next exciting episode of Lonely Goomba! <gasps> Hark! Do I hear the creaking of a gigantic black leather trench coat? Could it be a special guest with a special Christmas message? Hey, it's death! Everybody give him a hand, alone, awkwardly, in your room, or wherever you're watching this. Season's greetings, mortals. The holiday season is Arlo's favorite time of the year. It is also my favorite time of the year. Wow, really? I, I feel like you'd like a Halloween or something. 
You are incorrect. There is no other time of year when you mortals are more cruel to your bodies. You stuff yourselves with candies and confections. You assault your livers with alcoholic beverages. You huddle by your electric heaters and stare at your new televisions, growing flabby and weak through inactivity. And you praise the coming of the new year, seeing a bright future on the horizon, but all I see is another grain of sand falling in the hourglass, another tick of the clock on its way to midnight, another bead on some grim and ghastly the abacus. Scratch off the final days on your calendar and know that I am doing the same, mortals. Know that this is a Christmas you can never get back. Also, I love those white fudge Oreos. Actually, now that I think about it, this game does have one gigantic, unforgivable flaw. Resident Evil Zero. Resident Evil Four. Resident Evil Six. Darkness, my old friend. Number 7 is Sonic Mania. The blue blur is back, baby, and I don't mean Arlo after coffee. And before we go, let's close things out with a song. I'll have a blue Christmas without you. You get it? Eh? You get it? I'll be so blue. Just thinking about you. Blue. Blue fur. I'm Arlo. Arlo's blue. Uh, yeah? The decorations of red on a green Christmas tree. Okay, well, you see, being blue is a common expression for being uh, kind of sad or depressed, but in this case, I'm using it literally. See, because my fur is blue. Boo boo ba doo 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 doo. Random dancing booty doo. I don't know. How else are you supposed to end a video when you don't know what to do? Just random dancing. That's, that's a lesson for you guys out there. Random dancing. <laughs>